Hi. Um, today, this video will be about uh, emails in particular. Emails are a great way to communicate with uh, your friends, family, and uh, other people. It's fast, convenient, and uh, you can attach uh, pictures to it, stuff on that email to enhance your communication. This, however, is also a pitfall. Unknown people will send you emails about great deals or a proposal that would uh, surely attract your interest. These are called spam. Others will try to send you official looking emails pretending to be from your bank or from the government, which will then ask you for several unique details about you, like your uh, mother's maiden name, your date of birth, or your social security number, among others, uh, which is in turn called phishing. If a site is asking you, or if an email is asking you for your social security number, get away from that uh, email, delete that email, okay? Um, if you click uh, something on your email, uh, on the email, and uh, it takes you to a site that's asking you for your social security numbers, your mother's maiden name, and stuff like that, that's a very bad web. That's a bad website. Get away from that website. Close that website. Okay, uh, the uh, government or a reputable website will ask you will not ask you for your uh, sec uh, social security number or uh, or uh, other personal details. Um, never open spam emails. They usually contain an item that will flag a spammer, and uh, that spammer will be notified that you open spam emails. Um, these are called web bots. Others usually contain attachments that will take you to a malicious website automatically or have you uh, have your computer download a file by using a zero day exploit which will uh, infect your computer. Now, um, phishing emails are one of the uh, banes of email communications. These are the type of emails which looks official uh, coming from a trusted entity like your bank, your IT department, your uh, work or uh, even the government phishing is typically carried out by email spoofing or instant messaging and it often directs uh, users to enter details at the fact uh, at the fake website the, uh, which looks and feels like almost uh, identical to the uh, legitimate one it's you know faking the uh, uh, that uh, the, it's faking the, uh, the original website to something that uh, you think is uh, the official website. Now, uh, the word "pish" comes from uh, the uh, the term uh, "phishing," which alludes to baits used in hopes that the potential victims will bite by uh, clicking a malicious link or opening a malicious attachments. So, um, as an example, uh, I'll show you some uh, sample phishing. Uh, uh, one of them is this, okay. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, showing you some uh, uh, deals, great deal, okay. But when you click on it, it will take you to a, uh, uh, it will take you to a malicious site. Now another is, um, it's a, it's a form of a, a scam. It's a, one of the, it's a variation of a, what's called the uh, Nigerian scam. It tells you that uh, there's, uh, you know, they have some money with the bag and uh, they need to. Uh, uh, they need to withdraw that money and uh, by investing some amount of money you can avail of that uh, uh, that uh, pile of money that scam now uh, a phishing website is like this uh, it tells you that uh, that uh, it's, uh, it tells you, it gets you an email that uh, you know in this case coming from Amazon asking you to click on the link now, uh, when you click on the link, it will take you to actually to uh, a website that's not from Amazon, but it will have the logos or the images for Amazon. It will look official looking, and it will ask a lot of details about you, about your you know uh, account number, passwords, and stuff like that. And uh, after putting in, uh, after putting them in, uh, when you click on next, it will. Um, what will happen is that it will take you to the uh, correct. Uh, Amazon page where I need to ask you for your account details right now uh, another email here uh, coming for coming from chase it's 
uh, there's it's basically a, a phishing email. It's an uh, it's a it's an attempt to uh, get your credit uh, you know your banking details, especially your uh, your account numbers and stuff like that, so that they could uh, scam you of your money or infiltrate your account and uh, take your uh, money out of your account. Now, uh, one of the well-known uh, phishing email is uh, coming from UPS. Okay, it tells you that uh, there is a uh, package coming from you, and that the package had not been delivered because of stuff, uh, because of some problems, and uh, it's asking you to verify your account. So uh, basically, uh, that takes you to another website, and uh, that website will allow, uh, ask a lot of details about you, especially your social security number. And um, that will, you know, uh, allow them to get information from you. Now, uh, as I said, as we mentioned on this, uh, uh, that uh, the uh, government does not, um, does not, uh, you know, send out emails to you. You know, it's, uh, they also, you know, uh, phishing emails also try to uh, try to get you to believe that the government is emailing you. Now, in this case, directly from IRS, it's a sample phishing email. Is asking you to log in here, and uh, after logging in here, it will ask a lot of details about you, so, uh, like again your social security number, your IRS, no, your tax number, and a lot of other details that will allow them to personate your identity or uh, subjure your identity. Now, um, one of the um, uh, a lot of email system nowadays actually have features that checks if the email is spam or not. You can also download uh, some software that will check if an email is spam or not. There are, there are a lot of them uh, out in the internet. Um, we don't uh, really recommend uh, a particular software since uh, as most of the email system nowadays automatically check for this kind of stuff. Um, some security software even contains an anti-spam features. If you are not sure of an email and you need to view it and you think it's really important, if you're using a mail client, you know, uh, a, uh, a software that you have on your computer and uh, you use your uh, mail client to access your email, you can um, you can view the email in uh, text mode. This will render the email question in plain text. It will disable the images and most importantly, it will disable the internet links embedded with that uh, email. Uh, as an example, uh, we can see here uh, the uh, Mozilla Thunderbird. Uh, you can see here by clicking on view and then click on uh, on the uh, message here. There's an option here for plain text, so that means that it will render the uh, it will render the uh, message as a plain text, allowing you to view that uh, that suspected email. Uh, which uh, that email you suspect as a spam. All right. So uh, that's it for now for the uh, uh, for this video about uh, emails. If you want to find out more, please check. Uh, there are some uh, guidance and tutorials with your email provider that you might uh, want to brush up on to uh, better have an idea on email safety. So uh, for now, thank you.